So welcome to a uh, part six and in this tutorial I'm going to look at the two spotlight types and we've got a normal spotlight and a target spotlight and if you're using a version 14 this will be called something slightly different target spotlight I believe but I mean they're pretty much the same thing I'm using version 15 so I'm actually going to create a normal light just to show you something and here we have a normal omni light and the good thing about Cinema 4D is you can convert any light type into uh, any other light type. So even though this is an Omni, if I go to type here and choose spot, now it's a spotlight and you can do this with anything. And that's really, really handy basically. So with a spotlight, we've got this kind of fall off control here. And if you go to details, you can control this manually. So that's the outer angle. And then you've got the inner angle as well. And you can use this to kind of creates like a really sharp kind of edge. So basically if the outer angle and inner angle are really close together, that's gonna to give us a really kind of sharp line and uh, the more we move this away, the kind of softer it's gonna get. And we've also got um, rotation obviously on the spotlight. We can rotate this down, I'm just gonna move it up like that. And another cool thing is uh, with the spotlight selected, if I go to cameras and set active object as camera, I can basically look through the spotlight as if it were a camera. And I can use the camera controls like hold down alt and a left mouse drag. And you can see it adjust in these other viewports. So I can basically manually uh, focus where I want the light to point. So let's say I want it to kind of look at this red uh, sphere a little bit more and we can see it kind of focusing in the other viewports. And to go back, just simply select cameras, use camera, default camera. And now we can look through the default kind of scene camera. And um, the other type of spotlight is the target light. And this is basically the exact same thing, except it creates a target tag and an object, just like a simple null, which you can use to target like this. And I'm actually going to delete all this. And this is a spotlight I created earlier, and I'm just going to manually set up a target spotlight. So I'm going to create a null. I'm going to call this, uh, say, targ null. And I'm going to move it over here somewhere. Now, with my light selected, I'm going to choose tags, Cinema 4D tags, target. And now it's looking for a target object. So I'm going to drag and drop that null, which I just created. And now I can basically use this null to target the spotlight. And that's basically what a target spotlight is. And I can shade this. Uh, and I can shade this target null slightly differently. So display a circle and I can give it a color, make it like a red, like this. So that's very handy. And I've got my transfer tool over here, which you can uh, set up using customized palettes. But if I uh, click this, and choose an object, I can basically snap my uh, target null to any one of these objects. So I can basically snap it exactly to the center of that red sphere or the blue sphere. So that's another uh, handy little tip. So um, yeah, that's it for a spotlight. It's pretty simple. And um, thanks for watching.